chopping, use of a knife, and proper hand placement. Firstly, let's start by saying again that a sharp knife is critical to um, safe knife uh, procedures of any kind. The next thing is, you'll notice that when I use my knife, I always maintain the same movement with my right hand. I don't twist my hand like this, I don't twist my hand like that. I always use every joint, straight up the line, bending my wrist, bending my elbow, moving my shoulder, right to left, and I get a tremendous amount of power with that rocking motion. It's also safe, because I'm comfortable, and I've isolated my arm against my body. Next is the left hand. This is the hand that gets cut. So you need to pay special attention to your fingers on this one. I'm going to show you some of the wrong methods that I've seen. I'm going to show you some of the right methods. I'm going to try to cut short before cutting myself, though. I've seen people cut with their thumbs sticking out, like that. I've also seen people cut keeping their fingers out like that. Really risky. Turn away and they'll hit the tips of their fingers. Something that we all know happens quite often. Because it's happened to you or it's happened to somebody you know more than once. Let's talk about the right way. We don't need a vegetable for that. Certain rules. I keep my thumb back. I keep my knuckles bent. I know exactly where the knife is. No matter how close I get, I have no chance of hurting myself. You see, I don't need to look because I know that if I maintain this angle and my fingers are hitting the knife like, like that, there's no chance that I can cut myself unless I pick up the knife. And that's why you see a lot of people keeping the blade down. But the key is to always know where the knife is and know that you're hitting that knuckle. So let's get started here with a carrot and I'll show you the proper procedure. I start out away. I hit my knuckle. See that? I can do every finger I want. It's always the same thing. If you could see the little space that I have over here between the knife and my knuckle, you'll see that there's no chance for me to cut myself. This is the space. You see, no matter how close I get, I have no chance of hitting my, my fingers. This is that little bump over there. It hurts when I bang it, but it'll hurt a lot more if I put my knife through it. All right, even when I pick up the knife, I maintain that space. That's why I don't need to look at what I'm doing, even though it's a good advice to always look at what you're doing. Now be careful not to push your thumb through, because that's a great way for somebody to hurt themselves. Just start again. So it looks like a... St Stop, start again. Like a typewriter. Do it again. Another thing to notice is that you don't want an uneven cutting surface. So the idea is you want to cut that top piece off, work with that, and when you get to the big bulky spot, cut it the long way, being very careful, always being aware of where your fingers are before you put any kind of pressure down. Use a flat surface, very stable, and you can get as fine as you want. See that space? There's always a space there. I always feel where the knife is. Even if I'm here, I always feel. And if I have to measure whether I'm going to be tilting in or out, my, my blade will always be out. It might be a millimeter difference, but it will always be facing out. Chop vegetables. Good luck.